A very warm welcome to the CIO Agenda Series. And today we have with us Mr. Vijay Gurmurthy, who is the Director IT at Kanjuri. A very warm welcome, sir. Thank you for joining us at CXO TV. Good morning, and thank you for uh, getting me on this session. Yeah. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you at the platform. And before we deep dive into the conversation, we would love to hear, I don't know if you can briefly introduce yourself, how your journey has been so far in the industry. If you can share, site, share some insight, we would love to hear from you. Sure. Thank you again. Uh, my name is Vijay Guruvurthy. I work for an enterprise uh, named Capgen 9. I'm part of the enterprise IT of Capgen 9. I've been working with uh, the company for uh, about 15 plus years. Uh, my journey has been uh, quite exciting all these years. Uh, you know, we started from a uh, 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 basic setup of uh, the office to what we are today. The journey has gone exponentially in terms of uh, using multiple technologies, working with various departments, working with various use cases for business. And, you know, the, 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 it's been a very interesting the uh, last uh, thing years. Especially the last uh, four or five years was quite challenging for every uh, employee as well as the organization. We came, you know, got over it, uh, you know, very well. Uh, the employee experience, uh, you know, what we required to do, what kind of turnaround we had to provide in those the three, four years was, you know, quite uh, exciting. But we have passed that and we are you now going for the next journey of next three to five years, what we are going to plan, how we are going to, you know, uh, uh, get into a new technology, get into a better experience than what we are. So Absolutely. it's been quite uh, uh, exciting uh, years uh, now, all these years, but I think uh, uh, exciting ahead. Indeed, that's uh, wonderful. And when it you know, comes to uh, cloud capabilities, uh, first you want to uh, answer this part, but in, you know, uh, how does uh, the organizations believe that, you know, what are the uh, primary reasons uh, where an organization thinks that sometimes uh, hesitant uh, not, not to embrace cloud capabilities? If you can uh, you know, let us know about it. What are your thoughts about uh, it? Yeah. So cloud, as we know, it uh, gives a great potential for the organization. The business growth can accelerate by adopting cloud. But there are certain hesitancy in terms of you know, adopting cloud. Uh, could be different reasons for every organization. I would probably take few examples why there is a hesitancy towards uh, migrating to uh, adopting cloud. First one is uh, probably the uh, cloud expertise required for the organization because uh, traditionally the way we work in the data center uh, environment is completely different what we need, what we require expertise level in cloud. And not everybody has that mind shift from a traditional uh, data center to the cloud because uh, in, in a traditional uh, data center, you have expertise in firewall specific technologies. Uh, that, is not, uh, that is not a requirement anymore in cloud. You need to know the length and breadth of cloud for you to you know, have a secured application deployed. You need to not only be a firewall expert, you need to know a virtualization expert. You have to be a expert on security, data, storage, everything. So the expertise is the area of a challenge. I, I'm sure organizations are, uh, are doing a lot of training for, for the new employees and the existing employees so that you have to get up to the challenge and you'll have a while more expertise and because of this the adoption will also increase second one is that uh, you know uh, traditionally we have been using a, a capex model in the organization for probably decades so we know what is the fixed cost which is going to happen in one three year and five years and we know what we are going to purchase in the you know, subsequent year so that is clearly planned and while moving into uh, cloud, uh, uh, the, the landscape completely changes. The dynamic changes. Now, from the CapEx model, it moves to the OpEx model. Uh, it is unpredictable because you don't 
know the pattern of usage in the cloud. Uh, whereas in a traditional model, you would know that it, it used to run 24 hours 7, even whether it is in a peak load or non peak load, you know, no, no organization really bothered about it. But the moment you go on cloud, it is completely consumption business. So you might have a sudden peak usage and then a gradual decrease. So predicting that will take a longer time for companies because you need to have at least two, three year period where you know what is your or company cycle, then you will know what is the predictability of these uh, requirements, then you optimize it. So that, that is one area which uh, uh, has to be worked out uh, clearly before you know you, you migrate it or adopt uh, cloud. The third is the uh, application uh, uh, readiness. Uh, traditionally, all apps are already uh, mostly are hosted on cloud, on the on-prem, and it is not a good practice to just lift shift and migrate it to cloud because it's going to take a lot of time and it's not the right way to do. So repatriating the application to be cloud native is a lot of effort which is required. Whether the expertise are there that in the company is something which needs to be checked and what is the effort required to move even a single application to cloud needs a lot of uh, architectural discussion, change, that is third-party integration, their internal application integration. So it's, it's a humongous work for uh, the organization. So it is very important to know and decide which apps can go to cloud, work in isolation, or have less integration with the on-prem app. So that is one, one uh, area of uh, uh, requirement. And then uh, data security, uh, it, it's uh, probably not, uh, 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 many people think it is not secured uh, because the moment on cloud, it is completely exposed uh, into, you know, in, in the public cloud, which is not the case because there are best practices which uh, is given by the cloud providers. And you follow those best practices, define the uh, policies around your data to application security you will be for sure that it is more secure than what we have on the uh, on-prem. So it's, it's, it's providing you more security, then it is more flexible in terms of how you define those security, and you can know where the data is, you can define where you want to store the data. In earlier case, data could be anywhere, but now because of regulation and other uh, requirements, uh, every, every cloud vendor has uh, provided the option where the data is going to reside. So those are the uh, capabilities which uh, require to be uh, embraced for the organization for them to look and move towards cloud adoption. So also, as you mentioned about your know, primary reasons, so how can the challenges that you had mentioned be overcome to actually leverage the cloud's full potential? So, uh, business uh, moment, the moment embrace cloud, their acceleration of growth is phenomenal compared to on-prem because of the flexibility and scalability what by native what the cloud provides. And it is not specific just to the uh, region. It can scale to, you know, just across region, across countries. So, any, um, any consumer even from outside India can access. So that is the scale uh, cloud can provide. Now, uh, coming to uh, how do we uh, overcome this is look at the application landscape, what you have, and uh, see which apps can go into cloud, which can be uh, natively developed in cloud, and move them first. Uh, then look at architecting the solutions which are specific to cloud. Don't... don't uh, do a lift shift uh, into cloud is not the uh, best practice. Now look at you know, re-architecting the entire application so, uh, which can sit on the cloud. Then uh, come up with uh, the best practices given by vendor on securing the uh, application, securing the data. Uh, have uh, build a team which can work exclusively only on process, not on, not on the data center. Uh, these, are, these are the ways which you know we can uh, definitely uh, improve the usage and 
increase the adoption of cloud within the organization so in uh, cloud technology there are often certain uh, key misconceptions or maybe the myths which are uh, you know often heard and encountered so uh, how can these be uh, dispelled to actually help the organizations embrace uh, cloud uh, with much more confidence you know yes so the the misconception what uh, probably the company had by six years back so what today are definitely changed but there are certain common uh, misconception still continues because the large part of you know, organization still not move towards cloud uh, the reason could be first is uh, cloud is not for us cloud is only for big uh, large enterprises who have big pockets or for startups who get funded it is not for hnd for uh, manufacturing so that is one one part of it but however you look at the usage of cloud every organization every vertical can adopt cloud so cloud is for everyone it's not for specific you know companies uh, next is the uh, cloud uh, is not effective cloud is not cost effective is something which is which is not, not agreeable to some extent because uh, many cases what we have seen is uh, you move everything as it is in the cloud you don't do uh, the assessment of your current infra because generally on on the data center we always have 20 30 40% uh, uh capacity planning done to take care of the future requires but if you do the same thing and migrate it to cloud then it is not going to be cost effective because the requirement is probably 30% lesser than what the requirement is on cloud so those areas if you don't cost optimize it and then look at whether what is the requirement when i migrate to cloud is not taken care then cloud becomes extremely uh, costly so so the discussion it's not cost effective something is not uh, uh, acceptable to many many people but as you say uh, handle or take care of the key areas then you know in cost effectiveness is there then you don't need to build a data center a large data center just to Uh, have your uh, common application hosted. It, it, it needs so much space, so much effort, cooling, all that. So all that can can be uh, uh, reduced or removed. But not the moment you move cloud. So uh, that 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 is something which is uh, very very effective in terms of uh, you know, adoption of cloud. Uh, these are few inputs which I think uh, would uh, ah. And the other one is cloud. Uh, Uh, security on the cloud uh, there is definitely a, a hesitancy whether whatever data is stored is it really secure do i know where it is stored is something which is always a, a, a question mark for everyone but now the the requirements and the regulations have come up where uh, very clear definitions are uh, given to providers that if there is a specific region i am deploying an application the app the data has to reside in that particular region it can't go out right so that facility is being provided so there is no need for uh, the organization to really look at whether where my data is you know where your data is so you know when it comes to uh, digital transformation so what do you think are the uh, key trends and uh, technologies that you believe will have a significant impact on the businesses a landscape especially for the year 2024 and uh, how should organizations prepare themselves to leverage them um uh, 2022 2023 has been very exciting we saw definitely the emergence of ai being used uh, significantly so i see in 24 and subsequent years AI is going to play a, play a big role in in every vendor, every technology, every vertical. It's it's going to uh, probably change the way we work. Uh, AI is the one technology which I'm I'm sure is going to add a lot of value to business. And then uh, I think uh, the uh, the sustainability part of it is also picking up with time. Whether you are uh, uh, setting up anything uh, as an infrastructure. uh in the uh, or expanding your offices you need to know sustainability 
if you are you know adopting any new technology sustainability plays a big role because there is a lot of push worldwide that whatever uh, technology you use need to be a uh, sustainability has to be kept in mind in you know before adopting or before moving into the usage of the technology and third i think uh, uh, more and more vendors more and more applications are becoming platform uh, based uh right uh, so that that gives lot of flexibility to customer as well as vendor i don't need to buy module based it's a platform i buy and i build whatever uh, a customer needs on the platform it's, it's more easier for customers to use it's more easier even for vendors to give that platform and it's uh, generally highly scalable so platform is one area which is going to pick up uh, a big way and then uh, i i find uh, Uh, the industry specific cloud platforms uh, might pick up in 2024 and further because there are different regulations required for healthcare and different regulations required for other industries so right now the cloud is just a flat structure with all the regulations uh, approvals in place but is that agreeable to many of the uh, other industries is something which will be overcome and uh, a specific industry cloud platforms will be built An example would be you know government was very hesitant to migrate to cloud but cloud providers came up with the concept of you know providing only for government which is completely isolated from the public shared network so those kinds of new way of uh, accelerating cloud adoption will come up in 2024 and subsequent so we are definitely going to see a lot of excitement around the AI and cloud in the next few years. Uh, all right, sir. With this, we have come to the end of this uh, insightful discussion. Thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. And it was lovely back to Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my heart. Thank you. Thank you, sir. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.